directors how are you today we are going to discuss one very important topic called tyrosine kinase inhibitors and other small molecule inhibitors in that first we are going for discussion of tyrosine kinase inhibitors when i say tyrosine kinase inhibitor there are some drug acting against growth factor receptors when i say growth factor receptor you should know there is something called epidermal growth factor receptor it is also called as her her human epidermal growth factor receptor 1 so egfr is also called as her 1 receptor there is another important growth factor called vgfr VGFR mean vascular growth factor receptor one more thing PDGFR PDGFR mean platelet derived growth factor receptor so when you say a drug is a tyrosine kinase inhibitor it may be either EGFR blocker or VGFR blocker or PDGFR blocker so first thing i go one by topic what are all the tyrosine kinase inhibitor that are selectively blocking egfr the so called her one receptor the drug names are gefitinib erlotinib afatinib osimertinib and latest one dacometinib remember all the tyrosine kinase enzyme inhibitor name and all ending with a suffix called nib n a b for example jfet nib erlot nib like that the name will be ending with a suffix called n i b the first mc question all these eg for blocking tyrosine kinase inhibitors are approved for treatment of metastatic non small cell lung cancer in that one very important question we have one drug called erlotinib we know erlotinib useful for non small cell lung cancer but you should know erlotinib in addition to non small cell lung cancer it is also useful for pancreatic cancer that mean the question will be find out which one of the following tyrosine kinase inhibitor useful for pancreatic cancer mean think of erlotinib this is very important mc question but actually speaking the drug of choice for pancreatic cancer is we have one drug called gemcitabine gemcitabine actually anti metabolite that is the drug of choice for pancreatic cancer so be clear if they asking which is the tyrosine kinase inhibitor useful for pancreatic cancer mean then you should go for erlotinib again one more question the erlotinib causes problem in the eyelashes look at eyelashes there is a abnormality in the eyelashes the color and the texture getting altered it is called dysmorphic eyelashes this is one thing called image based question for your neat paper if they put this image and asking this is a photograph it's a problem caused by one anti cancer drug find out the drug mean think of erlotinib so question erlotinib causes dysmorphic eyelashes now of egfr blocker now we going for discussion of there are some tyrosine kinase inhibitor blocking vgfr that is vascular growth factor receptor so what are the example for vgfr blocking tyrosine kinase inhibitor first you should do drug name the drug names are sorafenib sunitinib and lenvatinib in that sorafenib useful for renal cell cancer or cc and also useful for hcc that mean hepatocell carcinoma remember sorafenib it is the drug of choice for hepatocell cancer is very important mc question then sunitinib a vgfr blocker useful for rcc that is 
renal cell cancer and also useful for GIST. G I S T. GIST mean gastrointestinal stromal cell tumor and sunitinib also useful for pancreatic cancer. Then we have one drug called lenvotinib. Lenvotinib is useful for thyroid cancer as well as useful for renal cell cancer. So you should know what are all the VGF for blocker name. Then very important next MC question. Tyrosine kinase inhibitor blocking PDGFR that is platelet derived growth factor receptor. Here there are two important drugs. One is called imatinib. Imatinib. One more drug called latest one AVA. Eva pretinib. Both are PDGF for blocking tyrosine kinase enzyme inhibitor. Here, imatinib, a wonderful drug useful for treatment of chronic myeloleukemia and it is also useful for GIST. GIST. Similarly, Eva pretinib, a newer tyrosine kinase inhibitor useful for GIST. In this slide, I go for extra point. First extra point. We have to put CML, chronic myeloleukemia. We know chronic myeloleukemia is the problem caused by translocation of chromosome called BCR ABL oncogenic causing chronic myeloleukemia. For this case, there are some tyrosine kinase inhibitor useful. The drug of choice, MCQ, the drug of choice for CML is imatinib. Very important. Imatinib is the first generation tyrosine kinase enzyme inhibitor. That is the first line drug of choice for CML. But imatinib nowadays developing resistant. So if the CML resistant to imatinib mean in their case we have some more newer tyrosine kinase inhibitor. They call second generation tyrosine kinase inhibitor namely desartinib, nilotinib and bosutinib. All these drugs are second generation tyrosine kinase inhibitor useful for imatinib resistant CML. Suppose if the CML resistant to these drugs mean then we have still more newer drug. They called as third generation tyrosine kinase inhibitor namely radotinib, ponatinib, and bafitinib. They are called third generation tyrosine kinase enzyme inhibitor. So MCQ may be find out which one of the following is the second generation tyrosine kinase inhibitor useful for CML or which one is third generation like that question may be prepared. So you should know currently for CML the drug of choice is imatinib. Extra one more point if the CML resistant to more than two or three tyrosine kinase enzyme blocker mean in that case we have using one new drug called omacitoxin. So omacitoxin a latest drug useful for treatment of CML which is resistant to more than two to three tyrosine kinase enzyme inhibitor. So what we done in this slide is there are some drug useful for CML we discussed. Similarly, I want to discuss one more point. What are the tyrosine kinase enzyme blocker useful for GIST? This is also one area for MCQ. So, in my next slide, I will discuss tyrosine kinase enzyme inhibitor useful for GIST. I think you know GIST means gastrointestinal stromal cell tumor. In that first choice, imatinib. The first line choice, imatinib. Look here. Imatinib in case of GIST targeting against C kit. So the target of imatinib in case of GIST is C kit. Suppose the C kit undergo alteration or mutation mean in their case imatinib may be developing resistant. So for the treatment of imatinib resistant GIST we are using newer drug called sunitinib. So the next drug is sunitinib. Other than imatinib and sunitinib, we have some more newer drug useful for GIST. They include 
one is called R E G O R rigorafenib one new drug one more latest drug is evapretinib all these are tyrosine kinase enzyme inhibitor useful for treatment of gastrointestinal stromal cell tumor so doctor what we so far discussed is there are some tyrosine kinase inhibitor targeting against egfr some are targeting against vgfr some are targeting against pdgfr now what we are going to discuss is multi targeted tyrosine kinase inhibitor multi target that mean there are some tyrosine kinase inhibitor targeting against more than one receptor for example there is one thing called uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitor targeting against egfr we know egfr is also called her1 and the same drug also targeting against her2 that mean a tyrosine kinase inhibitor targeting against both her1 and her2 positive breast cancer mean think of lapatinib very 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 important mc question a tyrosine kinase inhibitor useful for treatment of her1 and her2 positive breast cancer mean think of lapatinib and one more new drug we have that drug is called ngrg niratinib Niratinib is a tyrosine kinase enzyme blocker useful for treatment of HER1, HER2 as well as HER4 receptor positive breast cancer. So remember what are the tyrosine kinase enzyme blocker useful for breast cancer mean think of lapatinib and one more drug called Niratinib. Now I go some more multi targeted tyrosine kinase enzyme blocker. For example, there are some tyrosine kinase inhibitor targeting against EGFR plus VGFR. The drugs are Vanditanib, Cabosantinib. These two drugs are targeting against EGFR as well as VGFR and they are useful for treatment of medullary cancer of thyroid called multi and then yeah, another very important topic there are some tyrosine kinase inhibitor targeting against both vgfr plus pdgfr the drugs are axitinib and pasopanib so axitinib and pasopanib are multi targeted tyrosine kinase inhibitor useful for rcc the so called renal cell carcinoma in that i want to give one summary point the point is what are all the tyrosine kinase inhibitor useful for rcc that includes sorafenib sunitinib lenvatinib axitinib and pasopanib remember in this axitinib and pasopanib are targeting against both vgfr and pdgfr that finishes some important multi targeted tyrosine kinase enzyme inhibitor and then we have one special type of tyrosine kinase inhibitor called bruton tyrosine kinase inhibitor what are the example for bruton tyrosine kinase inhibitor examples are i brutinib ecala brutinib and zanu brutinib look at the spelling we know nib nib mean those drug name ending with the nib mean tyrosine kinase inhibitor here brut b or it brut that mean bruton tyrosine kinase inhibitor they are all very much useful for treatment of mandel cell lymphoma and chronic lymphoid leukemia and also waldenstrom macroglobinemia they are called bruton tyrosine kinase enzyme inhibitor remember one general point doctor most of the tyrosine kinase enzyme blockers are administered orally orally so since given orally the common side effect will be gi toxicity like nausea vomiting and diarrhea in addition to nausea vomiting diarrhea 
any drug blocking VGF formin, that drug will cause extra problem like hypertension. That finishes some general aspects of thyrosine kinase inhibitors.